Hey guys, how you doing? Liam here. Recently, GE Proton, the community-made version of Proton, the compatibility layer for Steam Deck and Linux, had a few major updates that I'm going to go over for you. Because I know quite a lot of you use GE Proton. For those who don't use it, simply put, it's a version of Proton that has a bunch of extra fixes polled in. But you're on your own when it comes to support, of course, because it's not made by Valve directly. GE Proton can sometimes run games better than the official Valve Proton though, so it's worth trying. You can install GE Proton yourself in desktop mode if you find the Proton Up QT application from the Discover software store. And it's real simple to do. You just make sure Proton Up QT is set to install inside Steam at the top, then click Add Version at the bottom and select GE Proton and install it. And when it's done, just reload Steam or just go directly back into gaming mode. And in gaming mode, you just pick your game, go into the properties and in the compatibility menu, tick the box and select GE Proton from the drop down box. And that is it. Now, in the latest releases of GE Proton, there's some important things to know about. The first is that they've actually now removed the very popular DXVK async patch for multiple reasons. This is the patch in older GE Proton releases now that let you use the DXVK async launch option to help solve some stuttering problems in various games. It does have some issues though, and the developer of DXVK Async no longer even uses it. And the DXVK 2.0 release that came out actually had a whole bunch of shader compiling changes aimed to reduce stutter that eventually the Steam Deck will make full use of. So GE Proton has now removed DXVK Async entirely. So if it's essential for you to use DXVK Async, for now just stick to the older releases. As for another recent GE Proton release, they've pulled in more updates from VKD3D, which is the tool that translates DirectX 12 to Vulkan, and it fixed the DirectX 12 mode in multiple games, including Warhammer 40,000 Darktide, Death Stranding, God of War, and The Division 2. So being a recent Steam release that now works, I'm taking The Division 2 for another spin, but using the DirectX 12 mode thanks to GE Proton, showing that it clearly works. Whereas on the current official Proton from Valve, DirectX 12 in the Division 2 is completely broken. But of course, eventually these DirectX 12 fixes will come over to the official Proton, first in Proton Experimental, and then the main Proton. But for now, GE Proton is the way to go for quicker DirectX 12 fixes, if that's what you're after. I've also been messing with the Division 2 settings to get it into a place where I'm happier with it. Here I'm just going through the settings that I'm using. It's mostly set to the medium preset with a couple just turned down a little bit. So at least seeing it here, it gives you an idea of some really nice settings to pick. Regardless of the settings used though, you will still see some shader cache stutter, which smoothens out over time, and some areas will just drop the FPS momentarily anyway when you're running through the world, as it catches up on loading things in. These settings are mostly pretty good though, some of the best you can get to play The Division 2 on Steam Deck, with it often sticking to 40 FPS at 40 Hz locked in the Steam Deck performance menu. And I'm happy enough to play with it on these settings, but I do hope that Valve can continue to optimise Proton, just that little bit more to help the Division 2 be a bit smoother. And of course, if I do see any activity and updates on that, I'll let you know across videos and articles. The problem is with Proton, Valve are chasing a moving target with Windows compatibility, and at times it will fall short a bit, but they continue to do absolute magic like this. And I wouldn't even dreamed of being able to do this only a few short years ago. Honestly, I continue to be amazed at all their achievements with it. Seriously, who thought that they would be able to play stuff like Division 2 on a Linux handheld or a Linux desktop? That definitely wasn't on my bingo card even two years ago. It's just amazing. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments. Leave a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button to help me out. And I will see you later.